Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we are still in the pike, but he's been reconfigured. From the end of the last recording, what I did was I got the pike back to the garage and got rid of the low saddle and put this... This is his new sideboard bed that's available. Now I'm not sure if he would be colour matched normally, but it looks good, so I like it. So what I've done... He's now back at the experimental field. So I did a bit of driving about. In fact, it took me quite a while yesterday to set up for today because there's a lot of movements. So what I have done, let's go back to the map and I'll show you. So I'm up here and I'm at a, the task out in the field, which allows you to redo this field to get more sample potatoes. So yesterday I went back around with the K7M and I did the whole lot of harvesting again. Yeah, it took a wee bit of time, but I did the lot, got two more samples, and they are now ready for picking up at the storage zone. And they are actually not on the ground, they're in the, in the storage zone, which is quite nice. So I just need to go and pick them up. I wasn't too sure how it had finished, so I'd already configured the step with the crane and the, the cyborg bed, just in case I did need to pick them up off the ground, but that's not going to be necessary. So we're going to do that just shortly. The only other things of any note... Um, I think it was just a bit more of shuffling about of vehicles. I've got the twin steer that was up in the top here with the Don on it. I drove him south to the crossroads, but I basically dropped him off just through the gateway. Uh, I haven't finished taking him back to the garage, but that's where he is. And a couple of other little bits and bobs, nothing major. Um, so we'll just continue with this at the moment. Let's come back out of the map. So this is the task. I'll show you the task. That is repeatable. It says, so this experimental field should serve our little experiment well. Since we're still limited on manpower, it's up to you to tend to it. If you have a moment, of course. So you could accept it and go again. Done it. Been there. So now we're going to pick up. I think this guy will be really good without the five slot uh, semi-trailer. Just because... This is probably more in keeping with what he would be designed to do. Maybe not even with the crane, though. It's a nice wee sideboard truck that's very capable. As you can see, the place is turning to an absolute quagmire with the amount of use this area's been getting. Landover's still there. He's been backwards and forwards to the uh, zone where you can refuel and refix. I can't remember the name of it. Repair station, I think it is because the K7M needed more fuel, so that's what he's been doing. So there's my two potato samples. Now, in hindsight, if you did have, say, for example, the pike with the five slot semi-trailer here, and knew that you were going to need to take even more potato samples down to the railway station, you'd just do the thing twice and take all four in one go. Because when I was dropping off at the end of the last episode, I was like, oh, which ones do I drop off? For which contract? So if you've got four, it doesn't really matter. So you can just do, save yourselves a bit of time with the bit of logistics. Anyway, I didn't, so here we are. Nice. So, basically this is going to be another drive all the way through to the crossroads down to the railway station. Or is it the railway station or railway terminal? Let's have a quick look. Just to make sure I am going in the right direction. Railway terminal. Yep, that's where we are off to. Sweet. Back out of the map. Please. And again. Okay, let's do it. Sunflowers, you'll recover your spring back up. Yeah, I wasn't too sure what how you would restart that field to get more potato samples. I just kind of like reattached the cultivator and thought I could go straight into the field and it would start again, but it doesn't. You've got to activate the task. So don't miss that part out if you want more.
lovely day for a drive with some experimental potato samples. Now you have seen some of this drive before but with this new load bed and the, the pike how he is and it's a nice day I'll just keep you with me. You never know what might happen. Or maybe do a wee edit once we get through into the crossroads as you've seen that a few times. But at least once we get to the main road like this is a bit better. The first part's a little bit dodgy. And there's a good chance I can tip over. These slabs here are potentially quite tricky and lethal. These are the ones I picked up damage on before with the... I think it was a Western Star Twin Steel. There you go. I do like this pike. I think he's going to be quite a, a handy little tool. A bit similar to the Voron and uh, to a lesser degree the, the Tegas. But I think the bonus this thing has... You know, I'll, I need to double check to see if there's been any configuration changes. But this guy has the crane and two slot sideboard bed, whereas I don't think the Voron or the Tegas can have that configuration. Oh! Somebody's returned my bales to me and left them exactly where they were. Ah, they must have been feeling guilty. I don't know what I'm going to need them for. Oh, that reminds me, I did the trailer that was there with the Dawn. I used the Land Rover and took him back to the... Uh, the uh, I don't even remember the name of it. The, the bit over on this map where you can get fuel and fixed. I dropped the trailer off there just in case we needed it for anything. Service station, is that what it is? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's on this map, dead close by. A beautiful day. Don't think we need to go in there anymore. That's all done. I think after this task, well, I'll be so glad to get rid of it. Oh, I'm going left. I was expecting to go right. Going left here. Um, once we've dropped off these like hot potatoes contract done, I'll be so glad. But um, we'll focus back on getting the garage open in the Harvest Corp, I believe. Well, there's one little job I want to do once we're finished with this. But I'll, well, we'll, not, we'll not discuss it just yet. Let's get these things dropped off, because that could uh, that could change everything if I tip over. And we're off. Let's try and cross these without getting damage. seems to... Oh. I was literally about to say seems to be the day where I don't get rain. Because it was just too sunny. Look, look at those shadows coming off the truck. How can it possibly be raining? Oh well. At least I'm indoors in the cab. Sharp left. Yeah, very pleasant drive. Let's jump in the cab. Yeah. Oh, that's not too loud. I 
I do like how they've gone to a reasonable amount of detail inside the cabs. I mean, even there, the, the gear stick moving about and the the radio cable <laughs> physics just moving about. Whoa, okay, let's go to the right of this muddy wee bit. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I felt like I was going over there. What am I stuck on? Head out the window. I'm getting wet from the rain. Okay, let's go back outside. What am I possibly stuck on? I've been through here numerous times. Oh. Okay, have we got a winch point that we can use? Yeah. Come on. That was unexpected. I didn't think the step would struggle with that. It still feels like it's slightly caught in something there. I was maybe up in those rocks. Ah. Oh well. Fortunately, there was a winch point. We're on our merry way. Fortunately, we will get fuel as we drop into the, the crossroads map, down to 90 litres. Does seem to like the old fuel, this thing. Maybe it needs a wee tune-up. Mm. I've noticed when you're inside the cab, the boxes or zones is missing. I don't know if that's on purpose or not. Maybe to increase immersion, which I think is good. As long as you know where the boxes are. Okay, let's go. So there's a twin steer there. I didn't quite make it back with him. Slowly but surely, he's having a break. I can see the Don was looking in good condition there, but it's not. Excuse me. This is going to be a bit dodgy. I've got to watch these little cambered bits. We would normally go external view for this because it might make you feel a bit sick. <laughs> Especially with my horrific driving. Um, you do see more of the, the layout of the terrain, like where the dips are, much easier from down here in the cab. Okay, in. Fill it up, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, see little camber bits like that, you see a lot easier. I wonder if the new game mode plus... I haven't checked it out guys at all, I've just been focusing on this, the way the setup is. But if you started again from scratch with a new game mode, can you specify in cab only? That would be serious hardcore. Along with all the other hardcore features, like paying for fuel and paying, paying for repairs. Go on. Nice. Now the question is, do we follow the railway line. Looks like there's no trains coming. All quiet there. Let's go and have a look at the map. What's the easiest way? See, normally I'll just cut straight down this road and then follow the road. Where are we going? Down this way. And we could just do that, I suppose. If you don't mind, we'll just finish this off as is. The next wee task is not a biggie anyway, it's just a nice to do. 
Where am I going? Am I going that way? That looks like somebody's house. Yeah. Let's cut across the grass. Especially when it's like this. Oh, don't go in. Okay, I think I don't go in there, but we're going in. Fortunately, the potatoes are well wrapped up in their bags. They won't mind a little bit of water and mud. Adds to the flavour. Well, there's my, um, my Kodiak, my fuel Kodiak. I'm glad I left him there. All right. Ah, nobody in. Left, right, okay. We swing a left here as well, don't we? I'm fairly sure I need to check the map. My GPS is out. Yeah, left there and straight down. Okay. Nice. Plump. Thanks, get off. I'm low. Watch out. Does the gear stick actually move when you change gear? No, it doesn't. Okay. Was that be a step too far? Step. Oh yeah. We're gonna get these tatties in the air. Hold on tight. Yeah. What a landing. Drop-off point has appeared. We are so close to get rid of this pesky contract in haunting us from early in this let's well, not in this let's play, in this region. At some point we'll need to go for a wee adventure and look for the rest of the upgrades for the vehicles. I don't know how many is left still to be found, but there's definitely at least one, which is the twin tires for the K7M. Not so bothered about getting it to fit them, but it's just one of those things we want to have. Oh yeah. I think this is the zone. Let's go back outside. Oh, not quite. Next one. Oh, in fact, no, it's one up there. Nice. One and two. Thanks for the delivery. With a harvest like this, we should be able to take over the local market. Yeah. 6,000 cash, 60 XP. Yeah. It's done. Let's reverse this guy back out. So there's a trailer. I just left it there. I might, I might get it back to the trailer store, but it's only just up the road, so I'm not that bothered. Just park. Ooh. Park in here. Engine off. Good job, step. Right. The next bit I was wanting to do was up here. We have a slightly unhealthy. Chevy CK1500. <clears throat> what I did was, what I did with the Bandit was I got it back to the garage, reconverted a gig, or tidied up again with the maintenance add-on. So we're going to jump into the Bandit and get this CK fixed. So as you can see, that's how it was. I want to get this poor guy back to the garage. He's ours along with the trailer. So one of those things you got to do. So repair. 
Yeah, he's seen better days. 190, well, that's easy enough. Fully fixed. And let's give him some fuel. Take some fuel ourselves, actually. Who's that? Okay, now I'll get the bandit back to the garage because I want to reconfigure it yet again for the next job. Um, I'll do a cut here just so I can save a bit of time. I want to get it started at least in this episode. We've got a wee bit of time, guys. So I'll see you at the next location, which is in the... In fact, I'm going to show you what the contract is. Treasure hunt, I believe, yes. Treasure hunt in the heartlands. We've got to go visit the swamp. You're supposed to have a metal detector. It says recommended. It doesn't say compulsory, but that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to reconfigure it with a crane in the load bed. And we're going to pick up this thing and drop it off. Because that will give us another location. And as you can see, a crafting zone access. So that's what we're going to focus on just now. I just... Quickly want to jump into this guy. Change truck. Yeah, he's all good. Sounds sweet. Not the best gearbox, but again, what I'll also do is I will get this guy. I'll drop the trailer off at the trailer store and I'll take this, the Chevy back to the garage, get him parked up. Get him. Needs a bit of tea cut. And like I say, I'll get this guy, the bandit, back as well. So I'll see you in a sec. Should be good. Welcome back, guys. Okay, as you can see, Bandit is reconfigured. And this is the color match one. It's a mod one. But it's just to tie in with the cab color. Can't do much about the crane color, but that's good. We are obviously on the treasure hunt. Engine on, let's go. Time is ticking. Don't have anybody else to get to this treasure before us. Sun is just coming up. I thought this contract might be slightly more different from the PTS in in regards to the fact of the metal detector side of things. It doesn't seem to be something you need, or we didn't need it before. Now, whether we need it now is another question. This is what we're about to find out. Get out of the mud. We take a right here. Big exclamation mark. We'll go this way to visit the swamp to start with. We'll get out the mud. Okay, good. Stage complete. Now we got to get the special cargo. And I think that is what the metal detector is looking for. I mean, call me old fashioned, but I can use my eyeballs for that. Let's go. Okay, less fuel spin, please. Get turned right now. Ready for the back leg. Hmm. I thought it, as we got close to it, it would say, yep, that's the thing we're after. But it hasn't. Okay. This is where we find out it has changed. And this is a red herring. Whoop, no, 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 bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. That was putting me over. Ooh. Okay. This is getting a bit messy.
in there. That in? <sighs> nope, not quite. I was beginning to think, is it going to be a different load bed? But it's not. There we go. So let's crane away and pack it. I guess it doesn't tell you that this is actually the special cargo. Where are we going with this? So, deliver to the mean machine shop. Machine shop. Where's the machine shop? Way up there. Okay. We'll just go straight back out the way we came in, I think. We go that way. And then north, that's fine. Yeah, so st exactly. Straight back out. Thinking, what's that road there? In the wheels. Oh, that's too much. Saber, what are you doing leaving containers like that out in the middle of nowhere? Seriously. This would have been a good job for the pike as well, considering he's got the crane and the two-slot load bed, but pike's having a rest. Good job, bandit. Sure, those big mud tires help there. Rock and roll. Let's cut the corner. Straight line as much as possible. This is uh, the first, is it first of three that we need to do on our route to getting the garage open in Harvest Corp. But it was an easy task before and I thought, well, if it's that easy before, maybe it'll be easy again and it turns out it might well be. Come on. Hopefully you can go a bit faster than that. No, at top speed. Hmm. Come on. Oh, the cuckoo's out. means so. Yeah, nice easy crossings, just a bit slow. I'll take slow over difficult any day of the week. There's a drop off, so no complaints for me if that's all it is. <clears throat> Last time we did it, we did take out the metal detector and it felt a bit like, hmm, no point in that. We could have moved this container somewhere else. In fact, the, the metal detector in this game just seems a little bit of a weird one. But all of the, the missions that involve it, just trying to find the things you're looking for. Anyway, let's get this off. Because that's exactly what it was. Treasure hunt. So, that was smooth. The whole community's in your depth now for sure. Yeah, I don't know why though. 2,750 cash, 270 XP. 
Rewards. Access location, I assume, is this place, which is a crafting zone. We need to get the... I'm sure this is where we have to go and get a generator and bring it down and we'll park it over there somewhere. So that's easy enough. Let's shimmy forward and just have a look, see if it says anything. No energy, yeah. And that's pretty much all it's telling us. Fair enough. Close that. I will back this guy out of the way. Likely to be taken back to the garage, though. I'm just going to do this for now. And break on. Okay. Another job done. Next, I'm going to quickly check to see what the next contract is. Um, treasure hunt is Let There Be Light. Let There Be Light. This one. Generator, yeah. From away up there. Oh, we've not been up there. Cool. Back down there. So we'll accept it. And close. We could probably do it with the bandits still. I don't think we've got anything. We've got the Ford F750. We need to do that wee job. Okay, no problems. All good. Another two jobs done. Happy with that. Got rid of the like hot potatoes and started this route to the garage. Guys, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.